Arvind. So today we'll go just go through a overview of Demantra. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so we start with. Just a second. It got stuck. Okay. So to start with, what is uh, Demantra? Okay. It is company-wide platform for demand planning. <coughs> Sorry. And collaboration. Company-wide platform for uh, means uh, you'll get a single platform for doing your demand planning. That is forecasting and collaboration. Collaboration. Why do we need collaboration? Is uh, See, earlier what used to happen, there were sev several teams. There are several teams in the in, a, in any organization, like marketing team, sales team, and your demand planning team. So what used to happen is they used to interact each other or communicate each other through emails and Excel sheets. Okay, so by using Dmantra, you will eliminate the use of Excel sheets. You just have to work on single platform and that information will be available to all okay and it is a tool to generate statistic statistical forecast now for uh, generating statistical forecast uh, you need some data based on which the statistical forecast will be generated so we need history so Generally, it is used for sales forecasting, but like in my current client, we are using it for failures, uh, predicting the failures. This is for spares. So here, what we do is, we collect past history of the item consumption, and we predict, okay, in future, how many uh, failures would occur and how many quantities would be required. So it is just uh, a tool to study my fo past and uh, predict my future. Okay, and uh, apart from these, it can also be used for some reporting purposes because it has very good uh, slicing and dicing capacities capabilities. Okay, now these are the Oracle Demantra applications. Uh, demand management, AFDM, and uh, real-time uh, sales and operations planning, they are almost related to each other, while trade promotion optimization, PTP, and detection and settlement management are a separate group. Okay, so our training will focus on demand management with a bit of introduction to AFDM. Okay. So what do we have in demand management? So we have functionality to import data, we have functionality to generate statistical forecast, uh, we have reporting and analysis capabilities, we have collaboration and capabilities with some limited causals and tuning capabilities. So you, you understand causals? What are uh, causals? Demand management? So, in AFDM, we have all these features. In additional, in addition to these features, we have we get some additional forecasting models also. In DM, we get ten forecasting models. In AFDM, we get fifteen forecasting models. Okay, and how this causal is contributing to my forecast? What is the impact of that causal? So that we can differentiate using AFDM and we have advanced tuning capabilities called nodal tuning in AFDM. So these features are a bit advanced from basic uh, Dumantra demand management. <coughs> okay, now other noticeable features are uh, user, we have user configurable dashboards. Okay. We have audit trail and online notes. User can enter their notes just like Excel comments, right? So here we can enter our comments. These are called notes and these will be saved in the database. So it will be available for other users 
to refer. So that's why it is called on the notes. And we also have audit trail. So audit trail in the sense uh, we can trace back who made the changes to the system, what changes were made, all those things. Okay. We have data integrity. I mean, it has integration points with other ERP system also. Okay. So it has user. It has got user friendly graphs for analysis, and at the same time, we can view data in a table format also. So for analytics, we have graphs. So we have feature for new product introduction. This is also business term, and many business are concerned have great concerns for new product introductions. Okay, <clears throat> and basically it is a workflow driven integrated process. So we can define our workflows and based on that workflow, uh, the whole business process can be designed on that workflow. So everything will be streamlined and everything will be uh, well connected to each other. Okay, and properly communicated. Okay. What so, the moving ahead, we'll go through the mantra jargons. There are so many de uh, mantra specific terms, but these four are most widely used. Okay, so to understand as a business user also, they should know when you go for requirement gathering, uh, we small a small workshop for them, so that they know what we are asking or what do we want from them. So these terms, everybody working on a Dmantra system should know. These are the basic of Dmantra, building blocks you can say. Okay, so <coughs> first thing is levels. So levels control how data is aggregated and disaggregated or organized in my system. Like you organize categories, right? Yeah, in EBS. So here, or or you uh, you have any idea on data warehousing? No, no. Why do we make uh, categories or item flex fields? Category flex fields, just to organize data. Correct. Yeah. Right for reporting purposes. So similarly to that one, we have levels here. It will tell me how the data can be aggregated and organized. So they can be used as filters while creating the worksheets and while exporting and importing data, I can put filters so that or I can put filters to specify only this level or only this data I want. Okay? And they can be used to create my forecasting model. Okay. Jashmit, phone is there? Yes, Alex. Anything or for, for forecasting anything. Okay. You need following information like what is being sold, Ashish, where was it sold. Just give me one minute. Okay. Forecasting anything, we need following information. Like uh, what is being sold? Where is it sold? When was it sold? Okay. So, what becomes my item? Right. I am selling mm -hmm. items. Mm -hmm. Where is it sold? It is sold to a customer. It is sold from a region. It is sold from an organization. From an organization. Okay. So that where becomes my location. Okay. Okay. And when was it sold? Like uh, which period of the year or which date of the month? So that becomes my time. Okay. Mm, yeah. so these are yeah. basic levels for that are supported in Dimandra. Item level. It, categorizes or it groups data based on the item attributes okay. or item characteristics. So category, super category, sub category, 
asset class all these things can be uh, grouped as a characteristics of the item so here in dimantra uh, we are creating uh, they want to see in dimantra they want to configure in dimantra okay so that uh, or or in other words we ask them how do they want their data to be organized okay okay so they will tell us like for item we want sub category super category and if they want some other information uh, so they will tell us that, that thing okay so now it comes to time so time is uh, we can have monthly bucket daily bucket weekly bucket Based, the data is grouped based on my sales date okay so I can group data based on daily bucket weekly bucket and monthly bucket so next thing we ask the business users are uh, how do they forecast is it monthly bucket it is is it uh, uh, weekly bucket or daily bucket daily bucket doesn't make sense for most of the businesses if they are into retail or say they, they, they are into chain like big bazaar where they need to do daily replenishment and forecasting so they, there we go for daily but there also we don't recommend daily okay, if for very specific requirements we'll recommend daily buckets otherwise people go for weekly or monthly forecasting cycles okay now Apart from these three basic levels, we have something called uh, combination or matrix levels. So these group data based on the characteristics of the item and location combinations. So the value or these data properties will depend on the value of item and location. Okay. okay. So like example, uh, ABC classification. How I do ABC classification? in my business is uh, say uh, the top selling item in any location will be a class item okay and a medium selling item which generates a revenue between uh, say 5000 to 10000 dollars will be my b class item okay. okay so one item can be very hot cake in one one of the regions okay so there it will be termed as a class item and same item in another region it will not be performing that good and other things so it will come into B class category right? okay. so see here that value of ABC is depending on the combination of item and organization okay okay so these are called combination levels matrix so levels Generally, when we are uh, discussing with the business users, uh, mm -hmm. I think they will prefer. Or so we we group in time bucket of month or week. That's what we ask. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, series. What are series? Series a set of data that can be displayed in worksheet table or graph or at any aggregation level a series is simply a placeholder <coughs> sorry just a second huh? yeah oh, sorry. if you take Excel sheet a series can be termed as a column for that Excel sheet in simple terms okay so a, a series contains data a series can be displayed at a, as a worksheet column or it can be displayed as a graph <coughs> so any data that you see